So today we'll discuss the clinical discussion about uh, soft tissue sarcoma, history taking, investigations, and treatment of soft tissue sarcoma. Do you have a case with you? Yes, sir, I have a presentation to me. Start with the presentation. So uh, my patient is uh, Mr. X, who is a 66-year-old male, who is a daily wage worker by occupation, residing in Rajajipuram. He presented with chief complaints of swelling over left side of the abdomen over the past two years. Okay. The age is important, right? Yes, sir. As such, sarcomas and soft tissue sarcomas are common in younger age. age. Yes, sir. All the more, if you say osteogenic sarcoma, yes, there is bone separate apart. Yes, Even soft tissue tumors are more commoner in yes, younger yes, age. Yes, sir. So, there's a difference between a carcinoma and a sarcoma. Yes, so, sarcomas do occur in younger age group. But of course, this patient is 66 year old. Yes, that you should remember when you present, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, history of presenting illness, he was apparently asymptomatic two years back, after which he noticed a swelling on the left side of his abdomen, in serious and onset, gradually progressive to attain the current size, and the swelling was not associated with pain, fever, or any discharges. So, obviously, why did you ask about pain, fever, and discharge? There could any swelling, we should ask about pain. So, like, uh, it could be an infectious or inflammatory in origin, then they'll present with pain. But, see, two yes, years duration. Yes, so, sir. two years duration is unlikely to be a infection or anything. But yes, still, sir. there can be a hematoma. Yes, sir. Okay, there can be a hematoma following injury which would have been neglected. Yes, sir. And if he is immunocompromised or a diabetic, later on, he can develop infection, infection. in that yes, one. Sir. Now, if you suspect sarcoma, yes, then the pain may be due to degenerations that occur in a sarcoma. tumor. Yes, okay, and sarcomas are notorious of hemorrhagic degeneration. Yes, so, gener degenerations also can cause pain, right? Yes, fever, of course, fever or discharge is not warranted. Yes, Until otherwise, if you suspect that it has burst open, involve the skin yes, and yes, it has sir. come out, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so adjacent structure involvements can cause pain. Yes, and if at all it comes out of the skin, right? Mm -hmm. From the parietes or elsewhere, if it comes out of the skin and gets ulcerated, then the reason for asking for discharge mm -hmm. or fever or pain. is pain or important. Yes, okay, in that case, that ulcer can get infected like any other ulcer. Yes, sir. Okay, in that case, they can have fever, right? Yes, Fine. Sir. Uh, in terms of negative history, patient had no history of loss of weight or appetite, no altered bowel habits, no history of trauma, uh, no swelling elsewhere in the body, no history of breathlessness, cough or hemoptysis, no history of hematuriasis. Why did you ask about swelling elsewhere in the body? Cases of neurofibromatosis, there can be swellings all over the so body. Specifically, if it is von Dricklinghausen's von disease. Dricklinghausen disease yes, okay, it can be... Uh, yes. So they can have swelling elsewhere in the body. Yes, what else they have on recling muscles? Neurofibromatosis. They can also have caffeola spots. Yes, okay, caffeola yes, spots yes, also can be there, right? Yes, Among neurofibromas, okay, von recling muscles have a higher incidence yes, when compared to the other yes, nerve sheath tumors, yes, right? So that's why you should ask about swelling, swelling yes, elsewhere in the body. Another important thing why you are asking is to rule out any lymph nodes. Yes, sir. Okay, so two years you would have had a sarcoma, but certain sarcomas, while well, in the discussion we will discuss, can go to lymph nodes. So that also will help you to do that. Why did you ask about breathlessness, cough, and hemoptysis? They are uh, notorious to spread to the lungs. Right? Mostly, Mostly it involves the lungs, lungs. Okay, so cough with hemoptysis is important, yes, right? Sarcomas as a hematogenous spread yes, and lung being the first filter can get secondaries, and those secondaries are usually cannonball secondaries. Yes, sir. And they can produce it, cough Cough and hemoptysis. Oh, why you want to ask about hematuria? It's an abdominal swelling in the lumbar region. So, so I wanted to just ask about uh, renal cell carcinomas in general. Mainly there will be hematuria in RCC than a swelling. Yes, sir. Anyway, certain tumors like uh, well, which tumor in uh, kidney can present with a lump? Angiolipomas. Okay, angiolipomas can present with a mass. They yes, can have a huge angiolipoma which can present a mass, especially in a thinner individual, yes, and they can present. Angiolipomas at times can cause hematuria, yes, though rare. Okay. okay? Yes, right. In terms of past history, there is a known case of systemic hypertension on medication for five years, no other comorbids, no history of radiation, uh, no nil significant surgical history. In this past history, which is important, 
history of radiation is important. Radiation is important. Okay, radiation can be an etiological factor. Yes, so any childhood radiation, so which conditions in childhood they can sub- be subject to radiation? A post uh, thyroid surgery, they can have radiation. Young mm-hmm. patients, Thyros, only young age. Thymic tumors, tumors. Yeah, agreed. Hodgkin's lymphomas. Yes, sir. Hodgkin's lymphomas, again, you give a radiation mm-hmm. younger age, so patient can develop possibility yeah, of malignancy. Mastectomy in individuals. Surgical mm-hmm. acid, that's important. Yes, okay, post mastectomy, you can get lymphedema. lymphedema. Okay, lymphedema mm-hmm. can cause angiosarcoma. angiosarcoma yeah. Lymphangiosarcomas. Yes, so that's the uh, importance of past surgical as- history. Yes, Fine. Yes. But this is a, uh, I mean, abdominal yes, mass. Sir. But still, you should know that lymphedema can lead on to lymphangiosarcoma. Yes, sir. Okay, right. And abdomen surgery again is important. You would have had a mass in the abdomen, yes, you would have undergone surgery, and you would have been subjected to radiotherapy. Yes, sir. Right? So, in such case also, you can get parietal wall or abdominal wall yes, sarcomas. Yes, okay? Good. But as such, sarcomas are more common in extremities. extremities. In extremities. Yes, sir. Okay, whereas liposarcoma can occur in the retroperitoneum. Yes, right? Sir. Fine, go ahead. Personal history, fixed mixed diet, normal sleep pattern, normal bowel and bladder habits, no substance abuse and family history seems to be insignificant. Oh, family history is always important in sarcomas. They can be uh, predisposed to certain genetic uh, conditions sir, like uh, familial adenomatous polyposis that can uh, predispose to desmoid tumors. Very general. good. And uh, other syndromes like Gardner's syndrome. Gardner's syndrome. syndrome can present with multiple dysmoids. Yes, and Van der Klinger's Van der Klinger's disease. Klinger's Again, it's a familial condition, condition. right? Yes, sir. It's a Mendeley, Mendelian autosomal dominant disorder. Even that can mm-hmm. present with family history yes, of... Okay, so mm-hmm. you have to ask about family histories, which is important, right? Yes, sir. Fine, then.